And we are so happy to know that you are well. My gosh, 90th birthday. Who can beat that? How are you feeling today? I remember it's the Lord's wishes. And so we have to abide by his wishes. You look so well. How do you get dressed every day like that for every party? You are always the belle of the ball. My daughter, Ermi, buys the dress and dresses me up. Thank God for a loving daughter. Yes. I am living with. That's nice. Uh, I remember when Dr. Pelosa was still alive. You were a very happy couple going from um, organization to organization, and then you founded the PBSSQ. What made you do that? The PBSSQ was my dream to make the students who were becoming scholars known by the community. So. I told myself there should be a society that is for the baby school schools. Thus, we have the baby school uh, association for how many years? I think it is 30 years now. I am so glad that my husband was very supportive, and it was his idea. to have a society for the students and the seniors, the old people. So, and because I am the wife, I said I want to be the chairman of the committee. And that's the beginning of the PBSQ society. I saw to it that it would become a society. And I guess we have another party. It's a yearly celebration. This is now the 33rd, 33rd anniversary. And Jess was with us only 2007. And so for the last few years, I was alone without him. Let's talk about you. You look so healthy, and uh, you seem to have all your marbles. How do you do that? How do you account for your longevity? You pray because everything depends upon the Lord. And I am very busy with my book, which will, it was supposed to be ready for my 90th birthday, but Ermi was hospitalized and she could not do it in time. She said, make it on. Uh, she do it that we can, you can be ready for the PBSQ Awards night in September. Okay, if you are not ready by then, you will be ready on your 91st birthday, <laughs> same time, same place, maybe. But I have another book for that. Yeah, and I am I am busy having the book for my 21st anniversary. Hopefully it will be on time because it will involve the writers of the community because the title of the book is Memories of Our Faith-Filled Lives Through God's Love and Mercy. So those people will be having their own memories uh, relate to the community and uh, that uh, memories of God's love and mercy. I am living based on the suggestions of my daughter. What I eat every day, what to do, remind me to sleep during the day, and she do it that I'm asleep during the night. She goes into the room and notice and, and, and sometimes she she visits me while I'm deep asleep. So, Eddie is moving to a new group of, of doctors. She's a new, in a new hospital, but she's still the chief of the, the, the his, his specialty. But it's new to him, and it's a 
Veterans Hospital. And so she wanted to be a very uh, enjoyable place. And she's doing it for the sake or memory of Papa, who was a veteran. And, and an uncle, my brother also, who, was, who died during the war. Yeah, so it's a very nice place for him to go. This, this today is his first day in that them how you do. I thank the Lord. We must always remember that everything comes from Him. So whatever we have in life, it's because it is His will. And so no problem or no ideas could make it work unless it is His will. So if I'm what is it now today, it's because God wants me to be active, to be alive, and to be open to the community and to be of service to the community if I can. I just want to make a public announcement. My gratitude and my, my joy that I had community leaders and friends and family who attended my party, especially Honorable Anthony House Father, who did not only attend my party, but gave me awards of all the gifts from this riding. I'm so grateful, and of course, I'm grateful for my son coming with his youngest two sons, two sons with, with him, and all you friends, I thank you from the bottom of my heart.